Hey guys, welcome back to Ocean WP tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be taking you guys through the Ocean WP Extra theme panel customizer. Stay tuned. So first things first, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be diving back into my dashboard. So here is my WordPress dashboard. All right. And what I need to do is I need to access the theme panel. So once you've downloaded and installed Ocean WP um, and the theme panel, this will now be active on your site. So let's have a look at the few options that are available to us. All right, here we can see that we have access to, you know, general options, typography, um, our top bar, our sidebars, you know, our blog, our headers, our footers, and, you know, even able to add custom CSS and JavaScript. So in order for us to see this visually, what we need to do is we need to open up our page on a new window. So you can see over here, um, and for the demonstration of this video, what I've done is I've actually installed a Ocean WP theme a demo. Um, which is extremely easy to install. Um, all right. So now what we need to do is we need to select customize. And this should open up a new page with a new left sidebar, as you can see over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through these. So the general panel, as you can see, is situated over here and the general options. This gives us access to loads of things that we can customize. I'm not going to dive in, uh, into that right now. That'll you know happen in the next few videos. Um, and then as we here, as we can see, we have the typography. Um, let's just go back there. Typography, top bar, top bar, uh, header panel, um, the header, and so on and so forth. So let me just show you one quick thing. If say for instance you're building a website for a client, um, and you, you you build a site for them and you don't want it, and they have access to the site after you've done the site for them and you don't want them to have specific access or you know to the features that are available to them because they might break the site you know they might fiddle around with some custom css or javascript and you don't want them to see that you don't want that to be an option for them so um as you can see here this is selected so it is available so there's custom css and javascript now if i were to deselect that and save changes and refresh the page. You will see that that is no longer an option. So that's a great feature to have and um, to bear in mind that, you know, if you are developing a site for a client that it's really easy to kind of limit a little bit of their access to the site. Um, you know, because let's be honest, if you're building a website, not every single person knows CSS and JavaScript and they might delete a line that would break some styling across the site and they would have to get in touch with you. So it just wastes everybody's time. So that's a great feature to have. Um, so I'm just going to save that again and refresh that. Now, within the theme panel, there's loads of other customizer, you know, customization options that you can have. You can have the option to upload your logo and add your favicon icon, which is the icon situated in the tab next to the, um, the title over there and so on and so forth. And in the next couple of videos, I'll be diving deeper into each and every single one of these options. So stay tuned for more. Thanks, guys.